Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the moon jellyfish. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. The name moon jellyfish seems pretty appropriate when considering these cnidarians have actually been to space. Okay, fair, space does not inherently equal the moon, but the moon is in space and so it counts in some way. Moon jellyfish were sent to space as an experiment. They have crystals in their bodies made of calcium sulfate, which are used in helping them determine their orientation in the water based on gravity. Humans have a similar crystal in their ears, which helps us in determining the tilt of our head as well as our forward motion. What scientists were trying to figure out was how a baby born in space free from gravity would react when entering Earth's atmosphere and experiencing gravity for the first time. What they found was that the moon jellyfish who were born in space and then traveled to Earth ended up developing pretty much identically to an Earth-born moon jellyfish, but the space-born jellies experienced some pretty bad vertigo which affected their motor skills. What this can mean is that if we as a species ever intend to spend any significant amount of time in space, as in, long enough to have children born out of the Earth's gravity field, then this could end up being a huge obstacle we'll have to face. Well, now that I've dashed your hopes of near and immediate space colonization, let me tell you a bit more about these cute creatures. Moon jellyfish are sometimes called saucer jellyfish, and they get each of these names from their spherical appearance. They can be found in tropical and temperate oceans worldwide, and tend to stay near the top of the water column. They will also drift in brackish water, or water consisting of both salt and fresh water, rivers and lakes, bays, and even near beaches sometimes washing up on shores. Although they do sting, their stinging cells don't penetrate skin very well, so they will often leave little to no marks on human skin. Still, probably best to leave them be, though, just in case. They can grow to be more than a foot in diameter, and are usually a semi-translucent white color, although their color can change slightly based on what they eat. Crustaceans will turn them pink or purple, while something like shrimp makes them more orange. They also eat plankton, fish eggs, and even other jellies, and fish from time to time. They eat by basically bumping into their food and coating it in a mucus that will hold the food in place while it's carried to the moon jelly's mouth. We've talked about other mucusy animals on this show before, and there are sure to be more, so make sure to slap that subscribe button for all the mucus you can get. Probably one of their most standout features are the four pronounced horseshoe-shaped regions within their bell. These are actually where sperm or eggs are stored depending on the sex of the jellyfish. Moon jellyfish have a pretty fascinating life cycle too. When larvae from fertilized eggs hatch, they will make their way to the ocean floor, find something to attach to, and develop into polyps. The polyps will then produce clones of themselves and will detach from the polyp. These are called ephorae, and will end up growing into adult moon jellyfish, which are called medusas. The polyps will do this for upwards of 25 years, but medusas usually don't live past their first. They're part of nearly every sea turtle species' main diet, and are also consumed by other large fish species. Because they're common, they're actually found in a lot of aquariums. We were first introduced to them at SeaWorld Orlando in their Jewel of the Sea exhibit. We've been fascinated with jellyfish ever since. For more information on moon jellyfish, feel free to browse through our citations in the description below. Let us know what animal you would like to see covered in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.